Amidst the swirling chaos of the warp, where reality itself twisted and contorted, a lone space marine fought valiantly against a legion of chaos space marines. Bolter fire and the clash of chainswords echoed through the void as the battle raged on. The loyal Adeptus Astartes fought with a relentless fury, but the forces of chaos were unyielding. Suddenly, in the midst of the turmoil, a rift opened, a tear in the fabric of reality itself. The space marine was engulfed by the warp, pulled through the rift against his will. As he tumbled through the surreal currents of the warp, visions of demons and nightmarish landscapes flashed before his eyes. Abruptly, the chaos subsided, and the space marine found himself standing on unhallowed ground. The air was thick with sulfur, and the ground beneath him seethed with malevolent energy. He was no longer in the warp, he was in hell. Unfazed by the infernal surroundings, the space marine, clad in his power armor emblazoned with the insignia of the ultramarines, cautiously began to explore this nightmarish realm. Demonic creatures roamed the desolate landscape, and the very air pulsed with a palpable malevolence. After what felt like an eternity of solitary exploration, the space marine heard a distant rumble. As he approached the source, he came upon a lone figure, clad in armor that seemed to be forged in the bowels of hell itself. The Doomslayer. The Doomslayer, sensing an intruder, turned with a ferocity that matched the demonic realm around him. The two warriors locked eyes, and in that moment, both believed the other to be a servant of chaos. The Space Marine raised his bolter, and the Doomslayer readied his super shotgun. The battle that ensued was nothing short of cataclysmic. The Space Marine's bolter rounds clashed with the explosive force of the Doomslayer's shotgun. Blades and fists met in a frenzied dance of death. The very ground quaked with the impact of their titanic struggle. In the midst of the chaos, neither warrior spoke. Each believed the other to be a pawn of the warp, a tool of the dark gods. The space marine, his cerulean armor battered but unyielding, fought with the disciplined precision of the Adeptus Astartes. The Doomslayer, a force of unbridled rage, pressed on with a relentless onslaught. Eventually, as the echoes of gunfire and the clash of steel subsided, the Doomslayer stood victorious. The space marine lay on the hellish ground, battered and broken. The Doomslayer raised his mighty boot, ready to crush the helmeted head beneath it. However, just as the Doomslayer's foot descended, the Space Marine's voice cut through the infernal silence. Wait, brother, he rasped, his voice amplified by the Vox grill of his helmet. We are not enemies. The Doomslayer hesitated, his boot mere inches from the Space Marine's helmet. Something in the Space Marine's words struck a chord, a realization that perhaps they were not foes but kindred spirits lost in the depths of hell. The Space Marine, with what remained of his strength, removed his helmet, revealing a face weathered by war. I am Brother Marcellus of the Ultramarines. We share a common enemy, the forces of chaos. The Doomslayer, still skeptical but now intrigued, studied the face of the Space Marine. As he beheld the grim determination in Marcellus's eyes, the Doomslayer lowered his foot. The truce was struck. As the two warriors stood amidst the hellish landscape, a distant roar reverberated through the abyss. A horde of demons, drawn by the scent of fresh blood, approached. Marcellus and the Doomslayer exchanged a knowing glance, a silent agreement that they would face this new threat together. With a nod of acknowledgement, they began to gear up for the impending battle. Bolters were reloaded, chainsaw teeth revved, and the super shotgun was primed. Shoulder to shoulder, a space marine from the far reaches of the galaxy and a lone warrior from a distant Earth prepared to stand against the legions of hell. In the face of overwhelming darkness, an unlikely alliance was forged, born from the realization that, in the depths of hell, only the strongest could survive. The battle cries of the demons drew nearer, but the defiant warriors, now united, stood ready to face whatever infernal horrors awaited them.